Yes, I'm ready. ready. It's, you, uh, it's your birthday. Yes, birthday boy pips. Okay. Binge Pipe loves our users so much, we gave you this menu screen. Are you tired of streaming services that are actually real and provide real services and aren't just a satirical rapper for the latest iteration of a video game franchise? Well then Binge Pipe is for you. I have the boring name. Do you Binge Pipe? Binge Pipe is honored to be the new home of You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, no crimes have been proven. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm not here to replace your dad. I'm just here to read some trivia questions. Okay, buddy? Hey, it's all my favorite people. And also, Player 3 is here. And since we've got an audience, how about we make this interesting and add an audience bonus to every question? The more audience members pick the right answer, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really whiffs it, that right answer is going to be worth major moolah. All right, here we go. Start game. Time for question one. First up... Eavesdrop, stop, and roll. I've got to share this weird conversation I overheard this morning. Ayo, OA, she won a Nobel Prize? Like you said, they're great! So, who dis? Tony the Tiger talking to Tony Danza about Tony Morrison. Tony Danza talking to Tony Morrison about Tony the Tiger. Tony Morrison talking to Tony the Tiger about Tony Danza. Or Tony Danza talking to Tony the Tiger about Tony Morrison. Okay, let's take a look. Check, please. <coughs> That's Danza's catchphrase from Who's the Boss, talking about Nobel Prize winning author Morrison, referencing the serial mascot's slogan. <laughs> you overhear the weirdest conversations at the Y. And how'd our lovely audience do? Congratulations, your friends are morons. That means that right answer is worth even more. Don't spend it all in one place. And now, dealer or no dealer. All right, just, just be cool about this, but who's Holden? The neighbor in To Kill a Mockingbird, the narrator in The Catcher in the Rye, the rich guy in The Great Gatsby, or the killer in And Then There Were None? Uh. Okay, who I am. what? Are you referring to their reclusive neighbor, Boo Radley, or Dill, the neighbor kid who comes every summer? Either way, you're wrong, so I don't suppose it matters. <laughs> Holden Caulfield is the narrator and main character of J.D. Salinger's famous novel, The Catcher in the Rye. But uh, more specifically, who, who has drugs? Uh, it's not something you need to read anymore, I think. Why don't we do it with three? 
try this as an out adult, it's really it's obligatory like Uranus pun, but there is no time for wordplay. It's a dis or dat. I'm gonna list off some planets from our solar system, but also some Sex in the City characters. For each one, you'll tell me if they've got a ring or if there's not a ring. And ring in this case meaning <laughs> wedding band or floating circle of space debris. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between ring or no ring. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Let's go. Saturn. Charlotte. Jupiter. Mars. Miranda. Most of you uh, skated by on that one, but you all, you failed the best. Binge Pipe would like to improve your player experience. Looks like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <clears throat> Great, thanks. Uh. You care enough so you don't leave us. I don't need you anymore. Let's try cruel and unusual punishment. Whose torture game is on point? The executioner using the brazen bull, the executioner using the rack, the executioner using an iron maiden, or the executioner using the tub? What'd you guys pick? Ow. <laughs> Any medieval oh. torturer knows that you slowly get roasted in the brazen bowl, the rack pulls you apart, and the tub causes maggots to slowly eat you. But the Iron Maiden impales mm. you with a lot of spikes. Oh, oh here's a good one. The menu of your dreams. Suppose you're casually dating, but suddenly realize you want to get married. Where should you make a reservation if you want to propose in a restaurant named after a part of the brain that turns short-term memories into long-term memories? The amygdala deli, the cerebellum bistro, the peckish piriformis, or the hungry, hungry hippocampus? Well, well. Player one just let loose a screw. I think it's time for some reflection. <laughs> Damn it. So what'd you pick? The hippocampus translates right. short-term memories and stores them for future reference. If you really want a meal to be memorable, may I suggest ordering something that will repeat on you? Round one is over. Time to see who is actually trying. Currently, player two is in the lead. Player one, on the other hand, you're negatively affecting our averages. I Your had a roommate has triggered for a year and a half for loved another it, screw. So Round two I screws saw a lot are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So do not be afraid to use that thing. The rest of you better answer fast if you don't want to be screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. Time and fun stops for no one. Six trombones is not a parade. Coming up, I'm Cuckoo for Global Agricultural Statistics. 
Which of these breakfast cereals is made with the top two most produced grains in the world? Cinnamon Corn Crunch, now with wheat. Frosted Potato Nuggets, now with soy. Fruity Rice Dunks, now with wheat. Or Soy Blasted Corn Zings, now with extra corn. I don't know if I got this right. So who got it? I have no idea. Corn is the most produced grain in the world. Wheat comes in second. Uh, rice is a close third. Oh, yay. Cereal agriculturists have yet to classify I the crunch I thought for sure berry. soy would be. La vie est un canard. Set. Introducing Don't Eat in the Pilot's Cabin. And oh yeah, French Cutlets Prime Tour. It's time for a Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, get ready. Look at the gibberish phrase and tell me what common expression it rhymes with. Fritz got cockpit pie ants. And don't let that punctuation trip you up. It's easy. Because it's not complicated. This is not space shuttle engineering. I think we were all thinking yeah. it. This was really hard. Oh! Now let's keep going. That was fascinating, but really hard. <laughs> yeah. How about this one? Is auto-tune still a thing? God, I hope so. I brought out the auto-tune for this segment I call Tuna Rumors. Tell me which Atlantic bluefin tuna rumor is true. I heard if they stop swimming, they die. I heard they are cold-blooded. I heard the biggest one was 200 pounds. Or I heard they are vet. Look sharp. <laughs> Player one decided to screw. Oh, don't crane your neck. Let's see who got it. Bit of bad news for you. Okay, nobody guessed it. Let's skip ahead. Tuna need water moving over their gills to breathe. So if they stop huh? moving, they will suffocate. Oh. It's okay to dish on fish when the tuna rumors are true. Way to screw player one. Have some cash. Oh, yay. No, 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 no. Behold, content brings us together. Oh, okay, I know what this is. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you hate women emerging from water, you might be able to tolerate. When Harry Met Sally, Dr. No, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, or Something's Gotta Give. I love this part. See ya! <laughs> Sally doesn't don a swimsuit or visit a beach once in the movie When Harry Met Sally, so it's all clear. I've never seen any also, of these movies. Hate emerging from water really? In general, may we recommend yeah. sinking? Here is one for you. Spamalot was yeah, already the famous taken. Scene. Get out your wallets. The creator of Hamilton is at it again. 
Suppose Lin-Manuel Miranda's next biographical hip-hop Broadway smash is about the inventor of Spam. What should be the opening chorus? My name is boy inventor Simon Spam. My name is pork genius Jay Hormel. My name is ham-obsessed chef Boyardee. Or my name is meat magnet Charlie Feltman. Let's see how that shook out. Charles Feltman is credited with creating the hot dog, and believe me, one day his story will be told. <coughs> Jay Hormel is the father of American national treasure, Spam. And there's a million ways my creation can be used in budget-conscious recipes. Uh, honestly, this show writes itself. It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... We may It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Famous speeches. I hope they still teach speeches in school. Good luck. This was yeah. fascinating. Player two's got it. I gotta hand it to you, player two. That was a photo finish. A terrible backlit weird angle photo finish. But still. <laughs> you don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. My name is boy inventor Simon Spam. My name is pork genius Jay Hormel. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was I, fun. Pork Genius J. <laughs> that's fun. I I lost. Uh, My name is Pork Genius J. Hormel. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Pork Genius. <laughs> oh, and the other ones were bad too. <sighs> there we go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Binge Pipes menu screen, the gold standard.
BingePipe is the only streaming service to determine that people really needed to hear a voice talking to them all the time when they first interacted with the user interface. And we refuse to course correct on that decision. BingePipe offers everything you need, including big screen. Join us. Meow, do not be startled. I am here to guide you as we explore the deepest recesses of your mind. You will build strange and complex worlds using only your imagination and your thumbs. A hypothetical situation missing one key part will be transmitted to your device like this one. Ads before online videos have been banished. In their place are 15 second videos of this. They are not skippable. Is life better? There are infinite possibilities you could write in to complete this scenario. Choose wisely though, because everybody else will then answer yes or no. And you will earn more points if you split the room. Fitting name, huh? For those of you in the audience, you'll be competing as one player. Your answers will be determined by a majority vote. Yes, even in a nebulous void, democracy is important. At the end of the game, the person who creates the most divisive dimensions will win. Got it? Good. Now let's begin. Prepare for a world where rules are more bent than a boneless yoga instructor falling down an M.C. Escher staircase. Get ready to split <laughs> the room. Fill in the blank to complete the scenario. This one is called I Before Lech. A curse has been put on you. Anytime you use the word I, you involuntarily do this. From now on, do you only speak in the third person? The longer it takes the room to answer, the more bonus points you get. It's time for bartering with bees. You discover where all the missing bees went. After speaking with their queen, they agree to come back in exchange for this. Do you appease the bees? I mean, that seems fair. Huh? Here's one I like to call to smell and back. To smell and back. I think people can hear you me. You suffer now. from Ooh, a form of amnesia. Now. Every morning you lose your entire memory, but you instantly regain it when you see this. Do you leave your morning self a note explaining what has to be done?
That'd be uh, too much work. This scenario is called the secret ingredient. You just ate the best meal of your life. It was so good it made you tear up a bit. Afterwards, the chef walks out and informs you it contained this. Would you ever order it again? Let's check in with the standings. It's time to create some more havoc. And now, <laughs> the saint versus the scoundrel. You run a charity that feeds and clothes the poor, but an evil billionaire decides that every time you raise $10 to help the unfortunate, he will do this. Hold do you still help the poor? Pants? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> People. Uh, no, it's a jerky. I'm almost through my truly, so maybe, maybe that's the problem. Possibly. I've got some uh, pinky scatterings for me to today. Up next is Sleep Famously. There's a chip in your head that makes you have the same dreams as a celebrity. Your designated celeb is this person. Removing <laughs> the chip means you'll only have boring <laughs> dreams. Do you keep it in? <laughs> I think there was major agreement on that one. It was. I thought I was feast your ring, eyes but on. No. Like and or subscribe. Gosh, Overnight, you're not you thinking about your target audience. Internet celebrity. You have enough money to buy your dream house. How did you get here? You recorded yourself doing this. Is the fame worth it? <laughs> And ideally there, you know. Brace yourself for never read the comments. You've been cursed. Every time you watch an online video, you leave a comment that says this. Your friend claims she just watched the cutest toddler video of all time. Do you watch it? I, I kind of w was ha did have that. Uh, Here's where uh, everybody stacks up at the moment. There's only one response for toddler videos, though, and that's pathetic. So. <laughs> oh. We've reached the decisive dimension. Everybody will be presented in the same scenario. There will be two options to choose from. Door number one is yeah, already it's, provided. It's almost like you will beat, decide what's behind door say. number two. Remember, you want to make it as hard of a choice as possible. Oh, and if you correctly predict a certain player's decision, you'll earn some bonus points. Let's begin. Ooh. 
right an option that you think only some people would choose. two apartments available in your price range and they're both haunted you can either live in an apartment yes. with the ghost of vladimir lenin or the ghost of this person which ghost do you choose to cohabitate with oh we have people on both sides of the iron curtain <laughs> oh. For those who don't know, our RBG is Ruth Bader Games. Well played. Now for something different. You reach the afterlife and discover that reincarnation is real. You are given the choice to come back as a dung beetle or as this. Which creature do you become reincarnated as? Wow, that's a hard one. That's hard. I bet you'd all still eat crap, though. It all comes down to this. I don't know about this. Oh, the audience, audience one. one. Oh. That was an interesting. Yeah, that was interesting and fun. Mm hmm. I haven't seen this one before. Sad. Try one of the other ones here. Madverse City. A lot of color in this one already, I can see. They're bright, shiny. Ooh. Hey, I guess it's robot night. Come on in. <gasps> Doors open in three, two, one. Is robot night like bear night? I don't know, just Yo, make it only robots your there. boy, Shadow Master MC. Oh. And tonight, we got a lot of interesting MCs in here. DJ Rach, tell them how the game plan is about to go down. Hey, hey, yo, don't step on that. All right, Shadow, okay. Here's how you do it. We'll ask you for a word or a phrase. We'll use it to complete line one of your rap. You then write a line that rhymes with it. We do that about two times, and you have your four-line verse. We hear him back, and we vote on that winner, which, honestly, you all are. Uh-oh, we got an odd number of battlers. 
Gene, dust off your mic and let's go ahead and get in this battle. And the verdict is? All right, I couldn't get rid of the robots, so somebody grab them mics and let's get this thing going. Time to get them lyrics down. I need you to write a word or a phrase, then an entire line that rhymes with the one that we give back to you. You need help? Just use the suggestion button on your device. Hello! Okay, you're about halfway through your writing time. right for me to have us fill in your line. Well, that was interesting. Here's the draw. Check this out the space. This is an interesting game story. and tough. Okay, check it out, y'all. We got our first two robots. <laughs> gotta be creative. Get it on. Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? I don't Come have any do time for that. Players, be sure to <laughs> give props or throw some hot garbage they way if they using some hot garbage lyrics. My lyrics are knowledge, better than science. It gives me hopes for some pious. Success is my best friend, failure is my druid. Keep up the HR faith that we can get that fluid. Right, thanks, thanks. Now we gotta move on. Ooh, you gotta respond to that. Coming at you, like a runaway mirage. Advertising you like Michelle Visage. My words oh. are so deep you'll need a motorcycle. Jump so high like a Jordan named Michael. Hey. Okay. okay. Now let's keep it moving. Yo, check it out. Now it's time to use your devices to vote on who brought it strong. Good job. Congratulate. Hey, man, please don't step on me. I need my next two MCs to step up here. You ready to go? Cover your heads, my beads strap like chops. My tummy is round and like slots of robs. I wake up and eat limes like steaks. Got no time for false friends and fakes. Ooh. Good. All right, peace Let's, and Let's move on. Yo, where the next bot at? I like to write for the people. In gear. <laughs> I'm flying high like a big old Superman. Lois and Clark era. I'm a very big fan. I've learned all I know from watching Small Wonder. Close the window. I heard thunder. Now, I know this is your first time. But if you ever come back here with that wackness, 
I'm going to unscrew every bolt in your body. Okay, y'all, now the battle is over. You got to use your devices to vote. Okay, everybody, round one is done. Let's move on to the next round. Let's check out those scores. All right, it's time to get right. Hello. If you can't think of anything at all, you can use that right for me button. Come on now. Here's the undercard and main event for round two. Better get some of that money. You ready for this? Let's get it in. You can't catch up. You're moving like a toaster. Keep that thing. You are acting like a roaster. You should just go home, so get in your gym. Leave out of my drive and go deep beat. <laughs> Yo, time to wait. Let's keep it moving. Did you hear what they just said? You gonna let them get away with that? This place is haunted by your smooth skin. I got cucumbers and candles. Let's buy they begin. You're the fly swan. I'm the rhino. Would I refuse a slice of rhubarb pie? Why no? All right, all right. We heard that. Let's keep it moving. Mm. All right, now it's time for you to use your devices and vote. I do like pie, though. You lost me a pie. Let's get those votes in. Nice. And more the, the spa day with the cucumber. <laughs> Got your winner. Let's move on, y'all. The next two robots, come on down. I'm so broke, you can't afford to rub. This terrible line is by design. You come out here and get blessed. 
Gen to take care of that massive chest. Oh. All right, thanks. Appreciate you. Yo, you gotta get that. Look in the mirror. See a poor man's Betty Davis. There ain't nothing about you that's not a mess. You want to be me, but you're just too dreary. You ain't winning. I XS and see that clearly. I can see that clearly. I can't spell. That was kind of cool. I know you can do better than that, though. Right now is the time to vote. So start clicking that button. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You well all right now. You're our winner. Congratulations. All right, y'all. That's the end of round two. Now let's check out the numbers. Let's see who winning this right now. You know the drill is the same thing as round two. Hello. Turn. Got about a minute left. You know you can use rhyme for me to have us fill in. This is the final round. Here's the card. Ooh, lots of money on the line. You ready to go? Let me hear you get at him. Am I making you sweat? Do you need a code red? Oh, you're okay? Guess it was just in my head. I won't give you the finger, I'll give you the buttocks. That's a word that nearly rhymes with deluxe. <laughs> Did you put any effort into this? Where the next spot at? Grab the mic and get busy. I heard what you said. That's the last spatula. Now it's time to drop you past you. There's you supposed to be a lot. You were just like a cup. That's how we played with you, Buck. <laughs> right. I see you, Swag. Time to pick somebody to vote for. Let's get those votes in. Hey. What's all the money? Yeah. Okay, here's your winner. Congrats. This is the final and the finale. Crap. Who's going to be you still beat standing? the computer. I rule the school, they call me the prince. Gotta get home and clean out my lens. I will have satisfaction, I will have mirth. Just strip me down like Colin Firth. <laughs> Yo, 
that's that suck. Next MC. Yes. That's what you have to say? Well, kiss my sausage, you struggling for rhymes. A lie, you got is shortages. You hurt my feelings, I'll crush your locket. I can beat you with one hand in my pocket. Oh, I see we got a pro around us. Yes, superstar rapper. The battle is over. It's time for you to pick up your devices and vote. I, I felt there was in the room. Whether there was incentive or not. Okay, good job. Good job. We got your winner. Uh, hey, man, come on. Watch where you step. Good job, MCs. That was hot. But now we got to see who won this. Good job. Thanks to all the battlers. Try to Thank, yeah. Thank you all but for you a wonderful competition with that. Peace. That was a lot of fun. All right, let's do it. Peace. I beat the computer. We all beat the computer. I'm happy about that. I, I, I think we Yay. have some biases based off of words we used. All right, let's uh, let's do one more game, and and we'll we'll call this a uh, we'll call this a show. Let's check out this Zeepel Dome. Mmm, that was exciting. Sounds out of this world. I can't think of a pun. <laughs> And Gary is in the live stream. Oh, that's a Q, not an O. CJWQ. Oh. 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 And who's sneaking in at the last moment? Oh. Sleepy had himself. Nebula, it's the Zeepoldo! Now let's hear it for your host, Gorgon Otto! Hello, Zeepoldo! Welcome to, to, to the house that screams built! A first timer! I love a fresh Google Dome! We know what to do with first timers! With, with broken, broken bones, bones awaiting. awaiting. Let's, Let's do, do this. this! Like American Gladiator. Hey there! Hey there. Take, Take a look, a look at, at your, your device, device and you'll, and you'll see, see our, our patented Google, Google technology. technology. Drag your finger, finger around, around to aim, aim at the practice, practice target. target. Then let, let go, go to oh, Zeeple! Oh, I see. Fight back. Don't take hits 
like that if you want to keep breathing. Oh, wait a minute. This is interesting. Can you change yourself in the air? It's a blocker! What's next for Earth? It's a cluster bomb! Match the color to give your team some extra firepower! This is now one block! Don't let us down! Not watching live, it makes this hard. Probably a better game to play live, like, like in person. Matt out of color to open the hell back. Bring yourself to the hell wheel to recharge. How refreshing! Okay, let's see what you can do. Oh, I'm gonna die.
Yes, we can. I believe in us. I believe in you. I still don't know what's going on. I still don't <laughs> understand. Um, yeah, I hate to say this, but I don't think this is the greatest to do remotely. It's always hard with these types of games on your phone. Yeah. I'm guessing that's going to be a, a quit. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I got it. That wasn't your favorite, Jeff? I mean, I think it would have been a little bit better if, like, everybody was in the same place. 
Yeah. Because actually, like, yeah, locally. Uh, otherwise, uh, let's let's do one more game. Let's let's finish off the round the of drawing life. game. Yeah. Close it out. Patently stupid. We got Joof. All right. Joof. I have a scalding hot coffee for anyone who gets in my way. Could be interesting. Gary's getting a little too much to life. But I'm pressing this button. Oh! Lloyd got in. Ooh! Lemonade for Tara. Ooh, La Binja. Ooh. Fancy. Hello! Welcome to the seminar. My name is Toby, and this is my ex-wife, Lena. And together, we are about to change your lives. That's right, Lena. I'm looking at five lucky people with amazing futures ahead of them. Great. So now that the doors are securely locked, let's get down to brass tacks. How are <laughs> we going to make you rich? Simple. By unlocking your potential. The potential to yes. invent. And as Lena said, the doors are securely locked. Kicking them can only injure you. Now everybody knows the best inventions solve big problems. And to identify those big problems, we'll need to do a little market research. On your device, you're going to receive two fill-in-the-blank prompts. Type in anything at all. And voila, you've created a problem. Now your creative problem, problem. Get sent to the other attendees to inspire their creative masterpieces. So let's get to it. bad can you get on here? Right. Uh, as bad as you want. Okay. We're halfway home. I know. device you've got somebody else's problems been there simply pick the one mm. you want to solve oh wait a minute no hurry but <laughs> change my mind time <laughs> it's actually not a problem Time's for one running before. out but hey Fantastic. Now it's time to solve that problem. That's right. This is when oh ideas become reality, using nothing but a pen and paper. But we ran out of paper, yeah. so you'll have to use some cocktail napkins. And don't forget to spice it up with a little color. Right. 
we're halfway there. Only a few seconds left to draw. I'm not an artist like this. <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't think that really matters that much. There was a game we played uh, the last time we played you Jackbox. All yeah, naturals. I was, was a little just going to say that. Okay. So now really let's bring it all home. Give it a title. And a snazzy tagline. Something that would make Thomas Edison climb out of his grave and shake your hand. Let's go. Be longer. We're halfway home. Let's get a move on. Time's almost up. Great. Now, each of you will present your creation with our amazing presentation tool. Really sell yourself, too. This is no time to be shy. Exactly, Lena. Now, let's see those inventions. So I have a problem. I'm trying to quit Logan. In order to do that, we have introduced uh, the hetero chains. Keep the dance on the inside with hetero chains. You can keep your arms and legs shackled together. It's something I like to call. And scene. Uh-oh. Let the masters show you how it's done. Hey, Toby, it looks like you have a problem. I sure do, Lena. I really want to make this all on my own. Well, I think I've got just the right solution. Just call it. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. But what does it look like? <laughs> Glad you asked. Take a look at this. Picasso couldn't have drawn it better himself. This looks great, Lena, but without a tagline, I'm afraid I just won't remember it. Not to worry, my easily influenced friend. Soon every billboard will read this. There you go. Darn straight. <laughs> and that's how it's done, everybody. Good job. Good job. Good presentation. Yay. All right, Lloyd. I seriously need a way to measure this. That's going around. Mm. But there's a solution. It's called... Art me up already. Take a gander. Sure. Take that, haters. All it's missing is a tagline. Oh. Then take a gander here. And scene. <laughs> All right, AJ. My relatives left a bunch of this at my house. Oh, no! <laughs> I call it... I'm geeking out. Let's see it. Well, take a look, silly. That's a humdinger. Now show me that sweet, sweet tagline. Well, you're in luck. 
And that's how it's done, everybody. <laughs> Every night, I have to get up to do this. <laughs> well, I've got a solution. I like to call it... Don't keep my eyes waiting. Well, Ooh. looky here. Tell me more. Ooh. Now, don't screw it up with some lame tagline. Get ready. And scene. Cut. Great job, everyone. Now, each of you has been given some money tokens. Give your largest chip to your favorite invention, your second largest to your second favorite, and so on. Now let's make some money. Great! Now let's see which inventions are destined for greatness. You'll need to acquire $1,000 in capital to not only fund your invention, but also net yourself a $500 funding bonus. Invest in a successful invention and get double your money back. But if it fails, they keep your cash. Let's see how you did. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. Uh. Not a problem. It really felt like it needed handling. Maybe next time. Punching. <laughs> That's it. Okay, for the final round, let's switch it up a bit. Instead of solving different problems, you'll all tackle the same problem. Oh. We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. And the honor of choosing that final problem goes to you. Simply select oh, the shit. problem you want everyone to solve. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, you know the drill. Let's draw. Oh. Way to cheat. We're halfway home. No panic. Someone will probably do worse than you. So much panic. Oh, drawing time's almost done. Try drawing with your eyes closed, but your heart open. <laughs> okay, time for titles and taglines. Ooh, 
we're halfway there. Oh. Oh my. Not to rush you, but the clock's a ticking. Don't think of it as drawing. Think of it as singing with your fingers. Okay, this is your last chance to impress, so don't hold anything back. All right. <clears throat> I'm always ruining this. Well, I've got the fix. It's simply called... Okay, I'm hooked. Let me show you. Wow, we now slap a tagline on it. Let's see it. And scene. I'm always ruining this. Then I've got the perfect solution. It's called. Let's see that drawing. Take a look. <laughs> Mosquito, <laughs> mosquito. Let's bring it home with a tagline. Ready, Freddy? And that's how it's no, done, really. everybody. Why do you keep losing calls and fire people. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Mosquito, mosquito. I'm always ruining this. Well, I've got the fix. I like to call it. Let's get artsy fartsy. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. Take a look. Hate tree. that, Toads. Oh! Needs is a tagline. Oh. Here it is. Damn. And scene. Winner. Yeah. <laughs> Again, appealing to the audience. That's what you gotta do, I've learned. I'm always ruining this. Then I've got something for you. Just call it. That's it? I mean, yay! Take a look-see. <clears throat> you don't get that in Quiplash. I'm tired of faking enthusiasm. Show me that tagline! <laughs> Here we go. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gary. Oops. I'm always ruining this. Well, I've got a solution. I call it... I'm excited already. Let's see it. Let me show you. Well, slap my butt and call me Cornelius. Now wrap it up with a tagline. Here it is. And that's how it's done, everybody. <laughs> Ow. Oops. All right, gang. Now it's yeah, time yeah, to pick your favorites, but food. let's raise the stakes, shall we? We're going to give you more money to invest, but now there's a higher funding bar to clear. Good luck. <laughs> and play to your audience. So sad. Oh. Nailed it. Nailed it. Close, but no cigar. A swing and a miss. That's it. Congratulations. You clearly have the dimension. Now for some bad news. You might have missed the print on the flyer that grants us the rights to any and all inventions created here today. Yeah, it was on the back. Sorry. But thanks for making us rich. See ya. Patently stupid. That's what they say. If you've got an idea, hey, just tell us today. 
Well, there we go. And I think that is a good happy hour. I don't know about you. That was a lot of fun. Yes. We, we did this a couple of weeks ago with Jackbox uh, Party Pack 7. This is Jackbox Party Pack 5, <clears throat> which okay. has, uh, had the most recent version of the You Don't Know Jack trivia game. So check it out on Steam or Jackbox games. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I had a really good time and had two glasses of wine in the meantime. So um i, I oh I was, that's always a good time then yeah i think this was better than than doing just a regular power hour because uh gave us more to really do <laughs> besides just making mm-hmm. up a conversation and saying shit every every minute for an hour <laughs> and being so, dirty yeah so we've we did find out that gary had just fallen asleep and he didn't wake uh... up time, so <clears throat> but then he woke up, apologized profusely. That's okay. Pat, pat, pat. Uh, <laughs> but uh, everything was taken okay. Thank you, Josh and AJ, for joining me for, for my birthday celebration. It's actually technically tomorrow. Uh, people can find me tomorrow. will be uh, a whole bunch of uh, Final Fantasy fourteen streaming over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash windgem. Join us here. It comes out loud pretty much any week. You can find out when we're planning on recording these shows. Um uh, every uh, by going to our calendar at tellyourall.com slash calendar dash C O L. Um, find me anywhere in the internet as box at box, puppy box, cub box, something or other. Find us on the socials that comes out in the appropriate place. The URL Zazzle to get merchandise. And Josh, tell us what, you, what you've been up to. You've been up to a bunch of stuff, haven't you? Haven't you? Yeah, well. Um, well, just yesterday, a uh, song that I produced a music video for by our good friend Nakia, it just came out. It's a dream big. It's on his YouTube page. You can also stream it anywhere. Uh, it's a very, very, very racy, spicy video for people who might find that, that kind of thing interesting. So uh, I definitely recommend checking that out. And also season five of Skeleton Crew is premiering weekly. So you can watch that every Sunday now. Yay! And they should be a friend of Cubs Out Loud, so they should be in amongst our links, too. Uh, on the Cubs Out Loud YouTube, you can go to Skeleton Crew. And AJ, uh, congratulations are in order for being World... On World Pet. World yep. Pet oh, Congratulations! Thank you, yes. Uh, yeah, I was, I was a little busy myself last week uh, competing for World Pet, and um, Zach Gillette and Jane Butterfield are World Bear 2021 and World uh, Cub 2021, respectively. So, um, it's yeah, around, it's been... It's it, James than Zach. Bear was Zach, yes. James was was Cub. Because so. I think yeah, I said it the other way correct. around. Sorry. So. Just to make I sure... the other way around, Sorry. Sorry, um, I'm a little. We've been drinking. Oh, well, that's your audio. In any case, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, I didn't bring up my soundboard, so I'm just going to switch over to the uh, show title thing. And uh, say goodnight, everybody. Good night. Bye, everybody. insert theme song here <laughs> i'll do that in post at least for the audio podcast no, no promises for the youtubers <laughs>